Are you a gamer or maybe a content creator? Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide how to install Nobara Linux on your computer. First, visit the official Nobara Linux website. Click on this download link. We will try the official one today, so I'm just gonna download this one here. Also, as you can see, there is a standard one and there is an NVIDIA one. So if you have NVIDIA graphics card in your laptop or on your PC, you need to get this NVIDIA one. So just click on the download button then choose where you want to download it to and click save. I'm going to skip the verification step, but if you want to do that, I'm going to put a link in the description you can check out. After that, we need to flash the ISO onto the USB drive and for that, we're going to be using Ventoy. So go to the Ventoy.net, click on the downloads link, save it to the downloads, insert a USB drive with at least 8GB space. When you see the status ready, just click install. And it says the device will be formatted and all the data will be lost. So make sure there is no important files on this USB drive before you continue. Then press yes. And it has opened us the USB drive where we simply need to copy the ISO file. To boot from the live USB, insert the USB drive into the computer. Start the computer. To access the boot menu, press the designated key for your system. Then when you see the boot menu, select the USB drive that you want to boot from. Then when you see the Ventoy menu, choose the ISO file that you want to load from. Then we see the GRUB menu. We need to select Start Nobara 41. Well, there we go. Nobara Linux is starting. This is the installer that we can use to install it permanently on the computer. We simply need to follow the on-screen instructions to choose your language, time zone, keyboard layout. Make sure these settings match your preferences. Just type in your name, then select password and press next. Now you need to select how you want to partition your drive. For beginners, the automatic option is recommended, but keep in mind, this will delete all data currently present on the selected storage device. If you know what you're doing, you can choose manual partitioning, where you can create or resize partitions, but it's more for advanced users. We're gonna do the first option, and over here you gotta select the disk that you would like to install it on. For the bootloader location, make sure to put it on the main drive, such as DAV SDA. This will make sure that the system will boot properly, and then press next. Here it gives you the summary of everything you have chosen. If you want to change something, go back, otherwise just click install, install now, and Nobar Linux will start installing on your system. Once the installation is complete, remove the USB drive and restart the computer. There you have it, Nobara Linux is now ready to use.